What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another player review. We're going to be getting straight into this. A lot of these players that they're releasing at the moment, such as Kubo, they have been, you know, they've, they've got multiple versions. I mean, Kubo at the moment, I think, has like six or seven versions of his card. He has two player of the, of the weeks. Uh, Rashford as well has got multiple ones. There are a couple of nice, decent players in here. We've got a left midfielder, Gabby, which is kind of unique um we've also got as i said uh, kubo and we've got gibbs white which is kind of unique as well it's a nice little player card ben yetter everyone got the free version of him but this is a decent card silva i always like silva is it worth spinning this week i think unless you're a newcomer you're probably not going to have an upgrade line in here rashford is a very decent card he's probably my pick of him with the form he's on with the a form as well he'd probably be on a form next week as well standard form doesn't come into it there because his a rating i get a lot of questions off newcomers Basically, what you need to focus on with the A rating is if you've got a player with A rating, it means that more often than not, you're going to get a stat upgrade. I have videos on it, so just do a quick little search on my channel and you'll find it. I'll leave a link in the description below if I remember it or link through the video at the end. If you are wondering what the actual A rating does and the difference between A, B, C, D and E, um, it basically just means that if it's A or B, you have more of a chance of getting a stat increase when you are playing a match in the actual match itself. So for Rashford, yeah, he's a very decent card as well. I do like his player skills, double touch, knuckle shot, dip and shot. Rashford's kind of a different player to play with. He's not, in my opinion, like, you know, an Mbappe type player. He's not going to lead the line for you. And I think that's because of his dribbling. Um, even though it's 81, his tight possession is quite poor and his finishing is only 78. So he's not lethal in front of goal, uh, but he is still a very decent player. So we're going to start with the players I think are not really worth it. Look, man, he's just a very, very average um right winger there's a lot of other players that are better than him there yeah he's got decent stats dribbling is decent acceleration's decent stamina is quite poor so you'd be bringing him on in the second half he does have super sub which does make him stand out a little bit from the pack um i do think he's a good player if you're bringing him on with 70 minutes to go or 70 minutes gone into the second half and just have tired legs tired defenders that you're running against he is worth it there but other than that he's just average go and get dembele go and get somebody like that or anthony or diaz from liverpool and you won't regret it march is a very poor card in my opinion lads very poor he's got standard form i know that won't come into it this week with the a rating but it will from next week on you would imagine uh pinpoint crossing is not too bad he does have early crosser as well as 82 lofted pass which is too low i think to be spraying those balls in if you were to get drogba or if you were to have cristiano ronaldo or somebody as a target man inside you're not going to be getting those balls in such as you would with the likes of Tadic or maybe if you have Beckham or somebody like that. Uh, Ward Pros is a good player as well to have if you're looking for crossing in. Demaria, um, 88 acceleration, but he's kind of like a jack of all trades without excelling in anything. His balance stamina is too poor to play him as a, le a left or right mid. He can't play right wing, so you're going to lose a lot of that kind of uh, stats with the acceleration because you're going to be trying to carry the ball with him rather than beat players with the ball. Um, so I would say a skip on him. I would also say a skip on Gibbs White, even though he's kind of a unique card with fighting spirit, one touch pass, first time shot. He's also got unwavering form. I would say as a deep line forward, there's just so many forwards there now that are just like better than him, right? His acceleration isn't too bad, but his finishing isn't good enough. What you want from a deep line forward is you want somebody that's able to shoot, basically. That's what you want if you're playing that style, right? He does have outside curler. He does have first time shot. He does have amazing run. But his offensive awareness, I think, for making those runs are going to be difficult to get used to if you're not used to playing with a deep line forward. And his lack of finishing when you do get those chances is going to be difficult, difficult to get used to as well. Other than that, stamina-wise, balance-wise, I mean, his passing is ridiculous. Kind of a Dennis Burkham style player. So if that suits you, then this guy could be good. But for me, it's a skip for me. Same with Romani. This guy is not good enough, in my opinion. He does have blocker, but he doesn't have interception, which is a big no-no for me. Um, standard form, 79 aggression, which is hugely important at the moment. 71 acceleration, not good enough. He is a big unit, 83 uh, in heading and he does have heading as a player skill as well so he is going to be a beast in the air aerial superiority is there as well but i just think that that aggression lets his card down quite a bit we also have tiago silva his aggression is quite bad as well for the rest of his stats if tiago silva's aggression lads genuinely if his aggression was like 80 86 on this card 
and just take away his loft to pass and his head in a little bit, I think it would be a huge card because Thiago Silva is a beast in the game. He's also got interception, but he doesn't have blocker. He's got one touch pass, way to pass, unwavering form. Speed and acceleration, don't worry too much about that because the game has gone very kind of um you know tackling auto tackling base now it's very easy to defend but that aggression does i think let this card down a bit they should let man when they're releasing these cards they should make the cards very 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 strong like very strong you know um and very strong versions of them that they have unique stats ramsdale fairly decent keeper lads obviously been having a great season at arsenal uh he's got every stat that you could possibly want obviously i'd like the reflexes a bit higher um and he doesn't have long throw, but yeah, I mean, he is what he is with a good, go uh, he's a good, fairly good goalkeeper. We've got Ben Yedder. I've come up against Ben Yedder quite a bit, lads, and he's a beast as a super sub. He's a really, really good player as a super sub. I don't like the fact that he doesn't have one touch pass for the type of player he is because he does have fairly bad passing skills, but you don't really need those passing skills or passing stats if you're going to be playing him as just a goal poacher. But the problem then becomes that he's not that fast. Even though his offensive awareness is good, his finishing is good, you just have to kind of limit what you're expected to do with him. Is he going to be better than Mbappe? Possibly not. But depending on your play style, Kubo could be even better for you. And speaking of him, we do have a 92 acceleration with 78 finishing, 92 dribbling, 90 balance. Kind of another unique card as well. I won't say that he's one of my favorites. Um, I played with the last version of him that they got, that they released. It was a player of the week and he was an absolute monster. I didn't play him enough actually. Um, but with the live update back now, I might actually try and play him because I think he's up on A form again this week, which will be quite interesting to see uh, how he goes. Because yeah, I mean, this the last one that they released, as far as I know, um, this guy's card is more acceleration on it. So he's even a better version of him, the, just slightly, um, that they released the last time. We've also got Dybala. I'll leave the best two to last. I talked about deep line forwards before. Um, I think the inconsistent form with Dybala is a bit of an issue, but the rest of his stats are brilliant. Dybala is a different type of player. Like if you're talking about comparing uh, Ben Yedder or you're talking about Gibbs White, you are using as your deep line forward. You are effectively, you know, not playing an AMF and you are using Dybala as just kind of like sitting in that hole, in that pocket, such as Burkham. You think of how Burkham played the game of football. That is how Dybala did it, you know, is, is this card is built towards. And he's got like brilliant shooting uh, skills as well. You will be able to score from anywhere with Dybala if you are a good enough finisher. And then last but not least, we've got Gabby and Rashford. Rashford is a brilliant card, 93 acceleration. His finishing does let him down quite a bit as well as his balance, but the rest of the card is really good. Really good player skills, dip and shot, knuckle shot, all those shots that you could want for the player skills. And then Gavi is a left mid, very interesting card as well. Similar to Pedri, there was a free Gavi on the match pass last week. Well, it wasn't free, you had to pay for it, uh, the last match pass. Um, but yeah, Gavi is a bit of a monster, man. I think that there are better players than him there now in the market. But depending on how you want to play him, you could do a sub tactic with using Gavi in the hole uh, as an AMF, you know, start him left mid. He can play pretty much anywhere across the middle of the pitch and the left side of the pitch. One touch pass, Marseille turn, double touch, good dribbling stats, good passing stats and very, very decent card. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. I think that's everybody. I did it in a bit of a mix and match kind of way. But let me know what you guys think. I'll be back soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Big giveaway coming at 25,000 subs. And I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.